Hey guys, today we're back with a construction business. We have been hired by a local homeowner to build a pole barn for his new big boats. Let's hop in the GMC, let's head on out. On the way over to shop guys, I'm going to stop at the local gas station. I need a cup of coffee and a bagel. I did not eat anything, but like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below and please hit the like button if you do end up enjoying it. Today's job has been on our schedule for almost a month here and actually we do the supplies at our uh, shop which we're going to have to get loaded on up here but this should be a pretty fun one. Hey, if we do a good enough job maybe he'll invite us out on this boat one day because from the pictures and from what I saw it was a pretty fancy thing here but he we're here at our shop and we do have to get everything loaded up. It looks like one of the employees got it ready to go here for us. The old Ford F800. Pretty sweet truck. Really do like the flatbed. This thing does come in pretty handy. Along with the uh, Lizard trailer, we have the John Deere uh, 332. I don't really use this too much, but I really do like this skid along with the play compactor. Now, like I mentioned, guys, uh, the supplies are in great shortage. Uh, so we actually ordered these over a month ago. Here we got all the lumber for the pole barn. We have a little bit of the metal, and the rest of it is actually in his backyard. Just waiting uh, for today here because we're going to put the pole barn up in one day. We're going to get it completely built here. So I'm thinking, let's uh, hop in that forklift. Oh yeah, the forklift's right here. So let's hop in this. Let's uh, get the uh, flatbed loaded up. Now I've gotten quite a few requests to do more construction videos, which I will be doing here. I might be doing some more multiplayer content uh, and more role play as usual here, which is pretty cool. But if you guys haven't already, go check me out over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. But I'm so excited uh, to get back here to do some big projects. We're always busy, and I guess that's a really good thing, especially uh, when we're trying to grow the business to even bigger and uh, to purchase more equipment as well. Oh yeah, the forklifts, I will say, guys, are just so handy. And they're just so easy to put the pallets on. The forklift made quick work of those pallets, but really quickly, guys, we're going to have to put a few straps here on it. We are definitely probably overloaded just a little bit with everything uh, here, but let's hop on in. Let's get on over to the job. Now, like I mentioned, guys, this is going to be a one-day project here for us. It's going to be a lot of work. We have to put all the posts in, a lot of framing, but with these pole barns, it is a little bit easier, and especially for this one, there's no concrete floor. The concrete companies are all booked here, so we're just going to put grass and then uh, once uh, there's an open in their schedule the homeowner will have them come on out we're arriving here at the job site now one thing guys this is a very busy street we're gonna have to pull right up over uh, and we need to get it over as close as we can that's probably the best we could do here with our truck and trailer setup but here we have it guys I thought you just saw a glimpse of it look at that guys a brand new customers boat and he does have a pretty sweet truck oh this looks to be a high country wow that is a pretty fancy but look at this guy Guys, this is a Freedom 42 foot center console. I mean, this thing is probably one of the best boats you could ever buy. And look at that, guys. You have four 450 engines. I mean, over 1,200 horsepower. That's quite a lot. Really quickly, huge shout out goes out to Lance Modding for sending it over. But look at that, guys. He wants it kept indoors, and the pole barn is going to be the way to go here. So, this is, I believe, I just mentioned 42 feet, and the motor's at a few extra feet. So, the building is 50 feet long and I think we're going right around almost 20 feet wide so it's a pretty tall building as well uh, to clearance this but look at that guys maybe we could climb up here really quickly and then we really got to get to work here but hey we want to check out the boat wow pretty fancy the pole barn's going to be going off to the side here you could see as a two car garage here we're going to have to do quite a bit of grading as well to make sure the slope is good to go here but we're going to set it back here as a, actually a very nice yard this will be pretty easy here so we're gonna dig around just about four inches we aren't gonna go too much here that way we could put the gravel get everything ready to go and then like I mentioned we're also gonna be building the gravel drive here I think we're gonna match right into the driveway right about here that way we do not have to worry about the slope too much especially with a long trailer like this you don't want it to bottom out here but oh every time I look at this that is one sweet boat 
Alright guys, we're gonna get going here right at the start of the driveway. That way we can get the driveway, get it all done at once as well. And like I mentioned, the driveway is also going to be gravel. I don't really see a need. And I did let the customer know to put asphalt, especially when you're only towing the trailer back and forth here. He was thinking just leave the grass, but I said if it does rain, if there's a little bit of mud, you're gonna end up getting stuck here as well. But I don't really use this John Deere too much. And I will say guys, this is one of my favorite skids. I really do like the unique design of the arms and everything about it it is just a fancy thing here but we're doing a pretty good job at uh, tearing up all this grass here we want all the topsoil removed uh, since it's really not a strong uh, base to kind of build off of here especially for a building and uh, the pole barns though are just really sweet they go up so simple and I, I really do recommend it to all the customers that's a lot of skid steer work here we're actually down right to the clay which I think is probably the way to go removing all that topsoil so I think what we're actually going to do is I really want to see if we we could do a little bit of tailgating we'll make a pile but if we could tailgate it that's going to make it a lot easier here for us to speed up the process and you guys can see we are making really good progress so this driveway is going to work out well I was thinking to have the driveway come off here but then it's too close to the house as well for turning and you need as much clearance as you can there and this should work out quite well Guys, we just brought in over 40 tons of gravel. That should be good enough here for the driveway and uh, for the base of the pole barn. And now I did leave a few big piles, especially one here and then one over there. But we should definitely have enough materials here. If not, the driveway could be just a hair smaller. But I will say, guys, using the skids here, doing gravel work like this is a lot of fun. And I do appreciate all of your comments. I really do enjoy responding to you guys in the comments. Uh, so drop any feedback down below here. But with the construction comments, company guys uh, this business has been booming and we'll be expanding I definitely want to get us a shop soon as well I think that would be a pretty sweet thing but I think I'm going to set up a camera and tripod give you guys a little bit of action here using uh, the uh, skate here to get all the gravel spread on out Just hopping out at skid after a few hours. There we have it guys. We have the entire driveway done. I will say it did come out pretty good here. We have about 5 inches of gravel which should be a good enough base uh, for us which is a good thing. Now I do have a few employees on the way. They're actually going to do the entire pole building since I really like to just use the machines here. But I'll catch you guys back once it's built and then I think we're going to move the boat into the pole barn. A full day's worth of work there. We have it guys. We got the driveway, the pole barn done. I thought this came out quite well. Once again, they're going to be coming uh, uh, pretty shortly to do the concrete. But until then, he's just going to use it. And he's also waiting on the garage door. But I will say, this is going to work out good. Now, I was actually just on the phone talking with him. He's actually uh, running late here. So he asked if we could uh, put the boat in, uh, in the uh, pole barn here. So let's hop in his truck and let's do it. There we have it, the homeowner's big new boat is in the pole barn. Job has been complete. I just gotta get everything loaded on up and brought back over to the shop. But I think until next time, thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.